in the fun and educational videos channel where it's all kindergarten. So basically, today we're going to learn about atoms and cells. As in the last video, we learned about space and space and dark matter and dark energy. This time we're going inside, more smaller and smaller. So atoms and cells, the left picture is atoms and the cell is right. So atoms, so they make the shape and the cells make that shape. So you might be thinking into deeper knowledge that what is a cell and what is an atom. So first let's cover atoms. So atoms are basically a structure that contains protons, neutrons, and electrons. So basically protons and neutrons, they combine together and stick together to form a nucleus. They are really small and the electrons go around the nucleus. Or to say they go around the proton and the neutron. So that's how it is. So basically, they're actually the building blocks of life, and without them, you cannot live. They help all organisms of life sustain, and that's atoms. Now let's see cells. There are different types of cells. This is an animal cell, as you can see. This is a plant cell. This is a bacteria cell. So these have different types of cells. Animal cells function the animal. Plant cells function the plant, and bacteria cells function of the bacteria. Let's just take one for example. Pretend to chloroplast. So that's something inside a plant cell which helps make convert sunlight and soil and water into sugar as you all know. If like if you saw it you know, or in, if you're in science and learning about this. So basically that's one thing. Another thing is ribosomes which help the plant function. Well basically they have some things that's similar well sometimes they don't and basically, plasma membrane, which is in the bacteria cell and the plant cell, is much smaller than the animals, like than a cell membrane, which is in an animal cell. So now let's go to eukaryotes and prokaryotes. So basically, in cells, there are two, there are more than hundreds of different types of cells, but these are the main two: eukaryotes and prokaryotes. So eukaryotes have mitochondria, ribosomes, endoplasmic reti reticulum, nucleus, nucleolus, nucleus, nucleoid, capsule, flagellum, cell wall, cell membrane, and ribosomes are in prokaryotes. Eukaryotes are much more bigger than prokaryotes, like a lot, and eukaryotes are more organized than prokaryotes. And eukaryotes have a cell, cell um, prokaryotes have a cell membrane, while eukaryotes don't. Eukaryotes have ribosomes and prokaryotes have ribosomes. But the ribosomes and eukaryotes are more organized. So that's the differences and the similarities in both. And there, so basically, this is a history of cells. So the first person who made cells, and I mean like discovered them, was Robert Hooke. He, something unusual about him was that he actually, like, since he was born in 1635, there were only paintings that time. And his friend, though, was really angry because he took the job, he found cells instead of Robert Hooke. So he thought that Robert Hooke was stealing his information. So he threw the one and only Robert Hooke's art painting and threw it in the fire. So basically, there's no way we could figure out how Robert Hooke looked. So people like just in France how he looked, which like in this picture, but this is not how he really looks like. So like pretend, so he actually figured out like, you know, cells where artisans live and all. So he thought that they look like that very small. So that's why he named them cells. So basically that's why Robert Hook from here looks different from here. See Robert Hook here? He looks different because they just in France. Anyways, Robo Hook was one person, then later Matthias, then later Theodore, then later Ruda. All three people are real, these people. This is also real, but just Robo Hook doesn't have a real appearance yet. So these are the four main. There are more, there are more of course, uh, I want to thank more scientists that are there, but these are the main ones. So let's see, cells. So the, we, as we discovered before, animal cells and plant cells. Let's go deeper into that. So animal cells have some similarities with plant cells, which is they both have a nucleus, both have a 
ribosome, both have chloroplasts, like not both, but plain cell, and both have Golgi apparatus, both have plasma membrane, and both have cytoplasm. And the plant cell has cell wall, but the animal cell doesn't. So that's what is different about them, and that's why animals react different than plants, and that's why animals are less strong than plants. Because plants have a cell wall and multiple things. So basically, they're more stronger than animals. That's why. So let's see, multicellular and unicellular. That's something also important. So basically, an organism can be defined as a living being that shows all six of the characteristics of life. And growth, reproduction, reproduction, response to environment, uses, energy composed of cells has DNA. So unicellular organisms or have like ammon so bacteria, amoeba, paramoecium, and multicellular organisms have plants and animals because they have multiple cells. Even we have multiple cells, that's why I'm multicellular. Unicellular are bacteria and all. So yeah. <coughs> quiz time. Quiz time. Okay, this is quiz time for atoms and cells. First is atom time. Atom quiz. What are three types of atoms that are in all matter? A. Proton, neutron, and electron. B. Proton, nucleus, and electron. C. Neutron, nucleus, and electron. D. Atoms are not real. Your time starts now. Not yet, not yet, not yet, not yet, and now. Beep, 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 beep. Beep, 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 done. The answer was A, proton, neutron, and electron. Because they are the three different types, as we saw way earlier in the video. And nucleotides and nucleus are something different. And atoms are definitely real. They're not, not real. They are totally real. Let's see. Atoms, if you got it correct, you get a check mark. So, quiz. what is something both eukaryotes and prokaryotes have in them? Let's see. Three, two, one. Ning, 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 ning. They both have ribosomes. See, because they both have ribosomes, everything else, only one of them has. Like, flagellum is only in prokaryotes, nucleoid is in eukaryotes, mitochondria is in eukaryotes. Now, let's see. You got a crack, you get a check mark. So, I hope you like this video. We learned a lot today. We learned, I hope you learned a lot of information. Please subscribe to this channel and click the bell icon. Please share it to any friends or on social media. And please like this video. Thank you and bye. Get ready for the next video. Until next time.